Hey guys, Greg Thomas here. On this week's segment, I want to go over on how to tune a crankbait. You know, there's a lot of guys getting into trolling there, and there's a lot of guys that like casting crankbaits. And if these baits are out of tune, it's going to make your life pretty tough. You're going to have some of the biggest knots that you've ever dealt with if your bait's out of tune. So what I want to do is I want to go over the two different types of crankbaits that most people deal with. One is a bait like this. This is a 22 short. It's a deep diving, solid plastic bait. This bait here has what I call a fixed lip on it. It has an eyelet there that's actually molded right into the lip. And what that does is that makes it a little bit different to tune than some of the older or other traditional uh, ice screw wooden crankbaits. And I'll show you how to tune those as well. But let's put this guy in the water. I'm gonna put it in the water here. Oh, and you see that? It is running really weird. It's, <laughs> it's running really, really bad to the left and wanting to jump out of the water. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Now, I always do everything with a pair of split ring pliers because they're small and I can grab a hold of these eyelets. So this guy here, I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. Looks like it's a little bent and I'm just gonna barely tweak it there. Now, a lot of times when guys go to tune stuff, I think they actually try to move or bend the eyelet too much. But this guy always start in little chunks. So I'm gonna put it in the water. Okay, now I tuned it a little bit better. It's running better, it's staying down. But here's one of the keys to actually tuning a bait that I don't think guys pay enough attention to. And that's actually taking the bait and pulling it forward as you're trolling. Because when you're trolling, if you pull it forward like this, and if it stays down, this guy seems to be staying down pretty good, and giving it that rush of speed, what that does is when you're trolling, the, when you make a turn, the baits that are on the outside are gonna speed up with that turn. And if that bait isn't tuned to take a little higher speed, it's gonna foul up and it's probably gonna get tangled in other lines. So it's really important to make sure they're, they're, they're tuned for a little higher speed than what you're actually doing. I'm doing about 3.8 right here, which is a pretty common speed for me. I'm gonna put it back there some, about 15 feet, set it in the hole, just like that. Now, the next style bait is a bait like this. This is a Wiley Lure. It's a wooden crankbait, and instead of having a fixed eyelet, the eyelet actually goes right into the wood, and it's an ice screw. So when you're dealing with ice screws, you know, not only can you adjust them to the left or right, you can also twist them a little bit, okay, because they can twist some. So what I always say is I'm going to put this guy in the water, and I'm going to see what direction it's running. Okay, all right, I'm pulling it forward there. You know, at a regular speed, it looks like, okay, this bait's actually running pretty good. But when I pull it forward, you can see that it wants to cut off the left side. So I start by actually turning the, the actual eye screw there. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit towards me. That. Put it in the water again. Okay. <clears throat> and it actually is running a little bit better there. All right. Maybe a little bit more, just a little more of an adjustment. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get one of these things tuned. But I think I might actually have it right there. Just a little more, there we go. Now this bait can really rush forward. Now if you're gonna get into speed trolling and you're gonna be trying to troll four and a half, five miles an hour, this tuning process is super important. And being able to rush that bait forward is absolutely huge. There, it's running a lot better. I'm gonna put this guy out about 20 feet. Got the clicker, I love the sound of a clicker. I always do. Even though, <laughs> even though I know we're not out here, uh, haven't had a fish on, every time I hear a clicker, it always makes me jump. I don't know why. But right there's a simple little way to go about tuning your lures. It'll make your trip a lot easier. And you know what, guys? If you like what you're seeing on here, subscribe to the channel. We really love to see you come back after, week after week.